Oh, how's everybody? My name's Kibikazi, and Boruto's latest episode was Gucci. But there's one main point that stood out to me, which touched on some really deep topics that just so happen to be trending right now. These topics are suicide, depression, and the hardships of life. We all know about the situation that involved Logan Paul, as well as the missile crisis that I actually felt personally here in Hawaii, which you can watch right here. And now we have this Boruto episode that hits you right in the Kokoro, man. Before I continue, it is suggested you watch Boruto episode 42 to get the full grasp. So here's a little backstory. Boruto and his team are given low rank missions, like finding lost cats. So they visit the desk where they receive their missions from, and their sensei, Konohamaru, explains that in their time of peace, dangerous, high-skilled missions are extremely rare and that every small job they do is important for the village. As Boruto and Mitsuki are walking, they see a news station that showcases the aftermath of a dangerous, Jonin level mission, and Boruto realizes there is no sense in working hard if no one is there to see it. Then Team 7 is specially summoned to the Hidden Leaf Bank, where a man with a suicide vest is inside. The suspect isn't what Boruto pictured, but he goes in the bank alone and asks the suspect to take him hostage. From the get-go, this guy is not cut out to be a criminal at all. He's very polite, yet clumsy when it comes to tying Boruto up. We find out his name is Hagaruma. Then we learn about his incentive. You see, Hagaruma was a video game developer who worked behind the scenes under an abusive team leader. This team leader told their boss lies about Hagaruma, where he soon got fired and was put under intensive medical stress. Hagaruma was blacklisted in the industry and no one would hire him. His medical bills started piling up, so he seeked money from loan sharks with no way of paying it back. The captain of the police force points out the sad truth of the age of peace, where the gap between the rich and poor grew immensely. The only thing that held Hagaruma together was the joy he'd see from people playing his game. But now that that was gone, he had no reason to live. In his last attempt to save Hagaruma's life, Boruto shows him the video game that he picked up that day which so happened to be the one Hagaruma worked on. Hagaruma then decided that he wasn't going to end his life. With no severe punishment and Boruto's help, Hagaruma got a job at Denki's father's company, and Boruto learned that even glorious jobs have value. So what we can learn from this episode is definitely the harsh reality of the adult world. And life will do things that no one else is going to see, like feeding a homeless person or helping someone with their homework. But everything has value. Everything is important to someone. When times are tough, just remember that you have value in others. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I kind of want to make a video comparing Naruto's first mission and Boruto's first mission. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments below. And if you love anime and Asian culture, please subscribe over here and join the QB cult, the most lit anime fam in Hawaii. And please share this video with someone who loves Naruto or needs something to brighten their day. My name's Kibikali saying, sayonara.